And this is a DIY and featured review video from ultratechlife.com. We're discussing the Flatwave Indoor HDTV antenna, which is the amplified version from a company called WineGuard. It's pretty cool. It's all about saving money. We actually wrote some articles about this, about how much money people are spending on cable. What you see in front of you right now could save you hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars per year. And it looks modern too. It's razor thin as you can see. That's actually an indoor HD TV antenna and it has enough coax cable. You can actually work this into the carpet if you need to and use your imagination with it. A little background on this story too while we're doing this review. We did quite a bit of research about how much money on our website people are spending on cable TV average per year is a thousand on the higher end people are spending three grand per year on cable truth is you can get most of these channels for free or content the same thing for free online or reduced costs through services such as Hulu Netflix things like that but you could be saving a lot of money and think about what you can do with the amount of money you save too we actually have a cool article if you want to read about that on our website ultratechlife.com so let's get into it here's the review we actually got to test this antenna here. It has very thin RG59 slim line coax cable. And it's about 19 feet of this, so it's enough to run this antenna anywhere. As long as you're close to the TV, and of course you don't want to break the line in the antenna. What you do want to make sure is you see this amplifier here. Make sure that that's actually plugged in. You want that powered up. And it's powered via a little 3-foot USB cable, which is actually included in the amplified version model so you can go in straight to the wall with this supplied adapter or use the actual USB cable and go into a smart television's USB port and power it that way just make sure you have this plugged in to the amplifier so the amplification circuits working when you try to do an auto program scan you can see how thin this antenna is it's about 12 by 13 inches very small here we go let's actually try to plug this in and do something with it so we made sure the amplifier is plugged in we actually run it straight into the wall you see a little green led indicator power is going to it cables are not organized yet we're just testing at this point the next step now is you're actually going to want to plug this in directly into the cable tv input in the back of your television now for some people this may mean removing your traditional cable set top box but we're just testing you can always plug your other stuff back in so we plug this in now. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is actually run this in different areas. The reason why we say different areas is because you can get different signals. So you obviously want to put this somewhere where you're happy with it, but at the same time you get the most TV channels. So keep your ladder out if you're mounting this higher up in the air, which is probably a good idea, or in a window. You're, use your imagination here. And of course you can see we begin to start to try to hide the cable. It's very thin. It doesn't look too bad where it's at right now. The next step after you decide on where you want to place this antenna is to actually do an auto program scan. So you want to set your TV to air through your television's menu. And you're actually going to let it search for digital channels. Since the 2009 switchover, the average inner city is going to have a lot of these channels. And the good thing is we found 71 channels. 71 free channels. Most people that pay for basic cable, the local channels, are paying 30 bucks a month. These are available for free, and it's in HD, as you can see. So this actually does work. If we were to myth test this, cable TV cutters, they save money, and they're saving hundreds to thousands of dollars per year for the same HD content as you can see here. As a matter of fact, as the author of this video, I personally use this now. Very impressed with it and I've ditched cable. If you want to, you can actually go to the FCC website, see how many digital channels you get. Just keep remembering that one single channel could broadcast several feeds, sub feeds. So one channel could actually broadcast 15 channels. That's how we got to 71. It's available for free though. Good luck and check out the rest of the review on Ultratech Life.